Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. And this product is really interesting because it claims to be the first of its kind to merge skincare, SPF, and makeup all in one product. So I've been testing this product out over the last week and I do have a lot of thoughts on it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley and I'm a chemist who loves makeup artistry and skincare. And so I will be going over some of the ingredients in this serum. I will also show you the application of the serum and give you my overall thoughts and opinion on this product. So this product is a tinted SPF and it is a mineral based SPF. It has zinc oxide, and I really appreciate that it is a mineral SPF because um, a lot of people find that they prefer mineral SPFs because they find that it's less irritating um, to the skin and also around the eyes compared to chemical sunscreens. And zinc oxide also offers excellent protection from UV damage. So when you apply this product, it truly does feel like a serum. It feels like... Uh, like a step in your skincare routine before your moisturizer perhaps. Yeah, it's definitely very unique in the texture. So in addition to the SPF, it also contains iron oxides which can actually help prevent hyperpigmentation caused by certain wavelengths of visible light. It also contains squalane which is a, an emollient and it contains shea butter which is actually an excellent moisturizer. Shea butter has actually been shown to be just as effective as more expensive ingredients such as ceramides at treating skin conditions such as eczema. So shea butter is an excellent moisturizing ingredient. It also has two forms of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant, so it's going to bind to water very well and prevent water loss from the skin. And so this is a very hydrating formula. You can tell by the ingredients, and also I can tell you from my experience wearing it, it is very hydrating. It also contains niacinamide, which has many skin benefits um, including that it's skin brightening it can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and it also is excellent at repairing the skin barrier okay so we know that the ingredient list looks excellent but how does it actually perform what is the formula like so I'll show you here applying this serum to my bare skin I've tried this multiple ways I've tried it with first applying a base layer of sunscreen and then applying the serum. And I've also tried it applied to the whole face, which is what I did today. As you can see, it is very shiny and very sort of, um, it looks pretty oily um, when you apply it. And honestly, that shine and that um, luminosity really stays at that intensity for about an hour to an hour and a half in my experience and so if you don't like that just be aware of that um, I will give some tips if you're still interested in this product of how you can um, kind of combat some of that oiliness without disrupting the SPF so I've now had this on for about three hours and this is what it looks like I didn't put anything um, on top of it I just wanted to show you how it looks after three hours as you can see it's a lot less oily a lot less shiny than when I first put it on I actually really like how it looks now I honestly kind of prefer it to look at this level of dewiness but when you first put it on and for the first hour and a half it will be extremely dewy Okay, so now I'm going to actually show you reapplying this so you can see how it reapplies because with SPF you need to reapply in order to get adequate UV protection. So I'm going to reapply this and then I'm also going to show you and then I'm also going to show you how you can mattify this a bit without disrupting the SPF properties. So I'm just reapplying it. And so as you can see, again, it's, it looks very dewy, very shiny going on. But it actually does work really well to reapply it. I don't think it looks um, any more cakey or anything like that. Yeah, I don't find that reapplying it looks cakey. Um, I think it looks the same as when I first applied it. So this is one option to reapply it. Um, don't forget to apply SPF to the ears and also on the eyelids. Okay, so as you can see, it looks really oily, right, at this stage. 
Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in certain areas with this Color Science Sunforgettable Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, so this is a mineral powder that also contains SPF. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start buffing this anywhere where I don't want to have that oiliness. So this is depositing SPF over it so I don't feel worried that it's disrupting my SPF layer. So for me, I don't really want it to look super shiny directly under the eyes, so I'm going to take it right under the eyes. Um, I'm also going to go on the forehead a bit. So this is actually after I have set it with the Color Science Mineral Powder. Um, you can get some SPF powders that you could apply more directly to the skin versus this um, brush mechanism that would probably make it a lot less um, dewy and shiny but honestly if you don't like a dewy shiny look I really probably wouldn't recommend this as you can see it still looks extremely radiant and kind of I, I honestly would call it kind of oily um, even after setting it with this powder. Again, you saw at the beginning of the video how it looked. That is after wearing it for three hours. And I would say for about an hour and a half, it does kind of have this sheen uh, and dewiness to it. So yeah, I just want to be upfront about the type of product it is and the finish that it has because I know that's not for everyone. My concern with this product is that people might, because it's so dewy, I think they're going to be tempted to just apply um, a lot less than what you would actually need for sun protection. Um, if that's the case, I would definitely recommend going in with an SPF first as a base layer and then going over this on top. Um, I have tried it in that manner and I didn't really love the effect. Now, I've only tried it with one type of sunscreen. It's a Korean sunscreen that is my favorite sunscreen, but um, I didn't like the effect that that gave. Um, honestly, I like it best like this, even though this is more dewy than I personally prefer. Again, after a couple of hours, I really like how it starts to look, but... Yeah, I just wanted to be upfront about it. Um, I do really like it. I think the ingredients are excellent. I really like that it's a makeup product with SPF. As far as wearing other makeup products on top of this, I would recommend going with cream bronzers or cream blushes. If you're going to go with powder products, you would need to set this. Um, because it does feel very tacky um, when first applying it. By the end of the day, it does start to look a little dry. However, in order to adequately protect your skin from the sun, you should reapply sunscreen um, throughout the day. So, so overall, um, I do think this is a beautiful product, but it definitely depends on what your preferences are when it comes to SPF and products. If you love a dewy glowy look, I think you'd really love this. If you don't, I don't really think it's for you. If you like a more matte look, it's probably not for you. But overall, it's a beautiful product. I love the ingredients. I think it has some really nice skincare ingredients. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.